Imagine a creature that's part lion, part koala, and all amazing. This isn't a make-believe animal, but a real predator that once roamed Australia. Let's journey back in time to meet Thylacolio, the marsupial lion. Thylacolio lived in Australia from about 2 million years ago until around 46,000 years ago, during a time called the Pleistocene Epoch. This was when many giant animals, known as megafauna, lived across the world. Now let's talk about what made Thylacolio so special. 1. It was about the size of a large jaguar, around 1.5 meters 5 feet, long from nose to tail. 2. It weighed between 100 to 160 kilograms, 220 to 350 pounds. 3. Despite its name, it wasn't related to modern lions at all. Thylacolio had some incredible features. Huge, sharp claws that could retract like a cat's, a short, powerful jaw with massive cutting teeth. A strong, muscular body built for climbing and pouncing. A long, stiff tail that may have helped with balance large eyes suggesting it might have hunted at night. One of the most amazing things about Thylacolio was its teeth. It had enormous blade-like premolars, cheek teeth, that could slice through meat like scissors. These were so big and sharp that scientists call them bolt cutters. It also had large incisor teeth at the front, which it probably used to deliver a quick, killing bite to its prey. Thylacolio was a marsupial, which means it was related to animals like kangaroos and koalas. Like other marsupials, female thylacolio probably had a pouch to carry their babies. Isn't it funny to think of a fierce predator carrying its baby in a pouch? Scientists think thylacolio was an ambush predator. This means it probably hid and waited for its prey, then pounced suddenly. It might have hunted animals like giant kangaroos, wombats, and even the huge diprotodon, a rhino-sized wombat relative. Thylacolio was an excellent climber. Its strong arms, sharp claws, and powerful tail suggest it might have dragged its prey up into trees to eat, safe from other predators. Some scientists even think it might have dropped down on its prey from tree branches. The first Thylacolio fossils were found in the 1830s, but it wasn't until 1859 that the famous scientist Richard Owen gave it its name. Thylacolio means pouch lion in Greek, referring to its marsupial nature and lion-like predatory skills. Sadly, Thylacolio went extinct about 46,000 years ago. This was around the same time that humans first arrived in Australia. Scientists aren't sure if humans caused its extinction, or if climate changes were to blame, or maybe a combination of both. Today, Australia doesn't have any large predatory mammals like Thylacolio. The largest carnivorous marsupial now is the Tasmanian Devil, which is much smaller. But Thylacolio shows us that Australia once had its own unique King of Beasts. The story of Thylacolio reminds us how different the world used to be. It shows us that evolution can create amazing animals that don't look like anything alive today. By studying creatures like Thylacolio, we can learn about how life on Earth has changed over millions of years.